Good evening. Disappointing news tonight for Albuquerque Public School employees who thought they were getting extra money for working through the pandemic. The state auditor stepped in and said that money isn't legal. And today, APS's superintendent broke the news that the bonus won't be coming as promised. News 13's Courtney Allen joins us with more on who messed up. Courtney? Dean Jess, the teachers union says this is a huge disappointment. The state auditor says APS should have done more research before making any promises. It's a letdown for many. I'm incredibly disappointed and I and I'm sad. Thousand dollar checks for full time APS employees and 500 for part time employees are off the table for now. The district made the announcement today in a video message. I was very disheartened to learn that the New Mexico State Auditor's Office raised concerns that our proposed efforts to compensate you violated the New Mexico State Constitution. Superintendent Scott Elder said the state auditor's office raised concerns that this violated the state constitution, pointing to a provision that doesn't allow public employees to have their contracts adjusted and receive payment for work already completed. We would have encouraged the administration to do its research prior to make any announcements about a bonus for its employees. What we know at the office of the state auditor is APS employees have been working diligently, including my wife, and often putting themselves at risk to serve our community. The administration should have found a way to properly compensate them that complies with the letter and the law. Ellen Bernstein with the Albuquerque Teachers Federation believes this may have been avoided if the district made plans for compensation earlier in the year to avoid legal issues with paying for work already complete at year end. I think we were a little late because most of the people in the district are now off contract, not all of them, but a lot of them. The issue comes in, when was the work done? What are you paying for? And there are a lot of legal intricacies that apparently we were not aware of. Elder says the money may not arrive by June 25th as expected, but says they are working with the teachers union, state auditor and PED on a plan to pay employees for the extra COVID related work in the future. We don't have a remedy yet. That's what we're working on. And as soon as we have one, we will announce it. Elder says the bonuses were coming from federal stimulus funds. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Courtney. Some other school districts gave out COVID compensations this year, like Hobbs back in March. That was mostly paid for with money from vacant positions and state funding.